Guys, now we will be discussing case by scenario question of standard costing. Everyone concentrate. K Limited is a manufacturer of a single product A. 8000 units of the product A has been produced in the month of March 2024. At the beginning of the year, a total of 120,000 units of product A has been planned for the production. The cost department has provided the following estimates of overheads. Fixed 12 lakh, variable 6 lakh, semi-variable 1 lakh 80,000. This is what the standard cost is all about. This is what they have planned. And here clearly they have given about the overheads. Semi-variable charges are considered to include 60% expense of fixed nature that is out of the rupees 1,80,000 60% is fixed rupees 1,80,000 that is your fixed overhead and remaining 40% 72,000 that will be your variable understood okay now the records of the production department shows the company could have operated for 20 days. But there was a festival holiday during the month. So they are talking about calendar variance. There was a festival holiday which means actually we are working for 19 days. We budgeted for 20 days but actually we are working for 19 days. The actual cost data for the month of March 2024 are as follows. Fixed 1,19,000, variable 48,000, semi-variable is 19,200, that is for a month, whatever they have given above is for a year. That's what I was telling. Now when you are comparing, you are going to convert the actual, I mean sorry, the budgeted into a month. Then you are going to consider. Now, the cost department of the company is now preparing a cost variance report for a managerial information and action. You being an accounts officer of the company are asked to calculate the following information. Whatever they might have asked, first we will write down few things like actual overhead, budgeted overhead. First, budgeted. Guys, fixed overhead. First, how much is a fixed overhead? 12 lakh and in the semi variable 1 lakh which means total fixed overhead is 13 lakh but best part is that is for 12 months for one month question mark 1 lakh 9000 that will be your budgeted fixed overhead shall we compute budgeted overhead for a variable overhead how much it is 6 lakh and the share in the semi variable is 72 thousands so rupees 6 lakh 72 thousand that is for a year for one month how much 56 thousands that is your budgeted fixed overhead, budgeted variable overhead. Now shall we calculate actual? Shall we? Actual. First for the fixed overhead. Guys, how much they have given? 1,19,000? Yes. And we know one thing. In the semi variable, 60% is fixed. 40% is variable. How much is 60% of 19,200? 7,000? 11,000? 520. That is your fixed. Variable is 19,200 into 40%. 7,680. So, 1,19,000 plus 11,520 
one lakh thirty thousand five hundred. Whereas, whereas variable over it is, whereas variable over it is, guys, forty eight thousands plus seven thousand six eighty. So the total will come to rupees fifty five thousand six eighty. Clear? Okay. What is the first question they are asking? What is the amount of variable overhead cost variance for the month of March? Cost variance is nothing but how much? See here, have they given a units? Yes. How much? Beginning, we thought of producing one lakh twenty thousand units in a year, which means our budgeted output is ten thousand units. Our budgeted output is ten thousand units. Actual output is eight thousand units. Budgeted output is ten thousand units. Actual unit actual output is eight thousand units. We know one thing. And here I think uh, standard R's are not given, which means they are expecting you to calculate on the units basis. Now listen very carefully. Past variance of any overhead is nothing but under our over absorption. Guys, actual cost of variable overhead is fifty five thousand six eighty. Fifty five thousand six eighty. Whereas absorption will be on the basis of actual unit produced, which is eight thousand into standard rate. How to arrive at a standard rate? Very simple. Budgeted output. Sorry, budgeted the overhead fifty six thousand. Divided by budgeted output, ten thousand ah, rupees five point six. So eight thousand into five point six, forty-four thousand eight hundred. You are absorbing forty-four eight hundred, incurring fifty-five six eighty. So. Ten thousand eight eighty adverse because you are under absorbing. You are under absorbing. Anyone any doubt in this? Any doubts? No doubts. So shall we proceed then? Next, what is the amount of fixed overhead volume variance? Volume variance means from how many units you thought of recovering from ten thousand units that is budgeted output. From how many units you are actually recovering? Eight thousand units, so it's under absorption for, like it is very clear. But how much? How much is the standard rate? That is budgeted overhead. That is rupees one lakh nine thousand divided by budgeted output. Ten thousand. Ten point six. Nine. May I know how much it is? Twenty-one thousand eight hundred adverse. Twenty-one thousand eight hundred adverse. Next, what is the amount of fixed overhead expenditure variance for the month of March twenty twenty-four? Expenditure variance is very simple. How much you budgeted? You budgeted one lakh nine thousand. How much you actually incurred? You incurred. Where I have written actual year only. No, sorry. One lakh thirty thousand five twenty, which means around. Twenty one thousand five twenty. You are spending more. Adverse favorable. Adverse. Twenty one thousand five twenty. Adverse. Clear. What is the amount of a fixed overhead calendar variance? Calendar variance. You know that how much you thought of recovering. That is budgeted hours. And now you are changing for how many? So try to understand. Try to understand. You, you thought of working for how many days? Twenty days. But now you are actually working for nineteen days. So try to understand. Try to understand. In the twenty days, in twenty days, you planned of producing. 
10,000 units. In 20 days, you planned of producing 10,000 units. In 19 days, now your new plan will be 9,500 units. 9,500 units. Calendar variance is basically, now we have clearly decided that, boss, 500 units due to the capacity reduction. Due to capacity reduction, I am not able to produce. If at all 500 units I am not able to produce, due to the capacity reduction completely, then generally how much I won't be able to recover? From per unit, how much I am not able to recover? 10.9. How much I am not able to recover? 5,450. I am not able to recover. Whether I recovered or no, that doesn't matter. Calendar is about what? Earlier, how much I planned? Now, how much I am planning? Earlier, I planned of producing 10,000 units. Now, I am planning of producing just 9,500. Which means straight away, at the planning stage itself, I reduce my capacity by 500. Which means I am not going to recover that. So, it's a adverse. 5,450. Option B. Is that clear? Next. What is the amount of fixed overhead cost variance? Cost variance is very, 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 very simple. How much is actual? Rupees 1 lakh? 30,000? 520? Minus how much you absorbed? You are absorbing from your actual output. 8,000 units. 10.9 rupees. How much you are absorbing? You are absorbing 87,000? 200 rupees, but you should have absorbed 13520, which is under absorption. How much? 43,320. 43,320 adverse. Sorry? A volume plus expenditure also you can do. No worries. 43,320. As simple as that. But here remember when the unit comes, how to calculate a calendar variance. I hope you guys understood. I hope understood right. Done. Fine. With that, we have completed our standard costing whole discussion. Now, we are going to see the previous year papers from 2018 May. Shall we?